change. In a Minneapolis courtroom, Judge Regina Chu carefully addressed the convicted former Minnesota police officer Kim Potter, the family of Dante Wright, and the court on why she was about to break from sentencing guidelines in this emotionally charged case. I shot him! Oh my God! The former officer then collapsing to the ground in anguish. I am so sorry that I hurt you so badly. My heart is broken and devastated for all of you. She was acting in the line of duty and effectuating a lawful arrest. Officer Potter made a mistake that ended tragically. She never intended to hurt anyone. It is the sentence and judgment of this court that you shall be committed to the custody of the Commissioner of Corrections for a period of 24 months. Sentenced to 16 months in prison and eight months of supervised release. Well below the range under Minnesota sentencing guidelines for what Potter could have received. The judge calling it a sad case involving a respected officer. what you're seeing here don't forget to go to my other channel Anna Speaks Out and get subscribed there as well if this channel ever went away everything will continue on over there so get subscribed if you would like to support what I do here I invite you to check out my collection of slightly imperfect Brixton hats and brand new mint condition coach items on vintage you can get yourself or a special lady in your life a very nice gift for well below retail prices I can also ship to anywhere in the U.S. for a nominal fee, but you must act quickly because the coach items are only going to be available until the end of February. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much, and now let's get all the way into today's video. Okay, so I was actually kind of questioning whether I should talk about this story or not. Uh, there are a lot of big, important things going on in the world, and this kind of didn't seem like one of the most important things to talk about. However, I decided that I should talk about it because there have been too many situations in recent years uh, where people convicted of some type of crime are given sentences that I have seen as unfair that tend to be a result of the judge or the jury or both kind of bowing to the mob, so to speak, and basically just trying to prevent people from rioting and creating chaos and things like that uh, if they don't get the sentencing that they're looking for. Brett Kavanaugh was a good example of that back, you know, a few years ago. Derek Chauvin was another one that really bothered me a lot. And more recently, there have been uh, black convicts who have gotten away with a murder or, um, you know, violent robbery, even serial murder, because there were, like, BLM activists on the jury, and uh, it's very frustrating. And this case, however, was pretty opposite of that. Kim Potter was sentenced to time in prison, but I believe that the judge was a lot more fair and more reasonable than a lot of judges would have been. And that just gives me a little glimmer of hope for humanity. And I thought that that should be shared. So here's a quick little flashback as to what actually occurred in the original confrontation between Ken Potter and Dante Wright. Jurors during the trial shown graphic body camera footage. Police tried to arrest Wright for an outstanding warrant when they say he tried to drive off. Potter pulling her gun instead of her taser, firing a single bullet, in a single bullet into his chest. And here is some of the footage that I saw of the judge who sentenced Kim Potter that made me see her as a pretty reasonable person who I can have some respect for. Of all the jobs in public service, police officers have the most difficult one. 
they risk their lives every single day in public service. Her conduct cries out for a sentence significantly below the gun. However, as is generally to be expected, the family and the mother of Dante's son felt quite differently about the situation. Wright's heartbroken family, including the mother of his toddler son, describing in court their endless pain. Dante will never get to see his son's first day of preschool, elementary, high school, or college. And after the sentencing, Wright's mother blasting the judge's decision. Today, the justice system murdered him all over again. <laughs> We're very disappointed in the outcome. And of course, there was also the usual Twitter mob of people who were very upset that Kim Potter only got 24 months in custody as well. In one example, this person quoted Kim Potter to the victim's family, I do pray that one day you can find forgiveness only because hatred is so destructive to all of us, which I thought was a great thing to say, but uh, they put these images along with it, expressing what their opinion of it was. Another person said, I never saw a judge cry for a person who is guilty of a crime. Only two years sentence. Unbelievable. And this person responded by saying, crocodile tears. I asked the question, when did mistakes that are instantly regretted become crimes? What do you think? Brandon is Tranquillo chimed in with, cops aren't allowed to kill civilians randomly. Hitman Hackett came back with, it happens when you resist. Tip of the day, don't resist. And Brandon responded with the typical tip of the day, know a gun from a taser. And I replied to that with, when was the last time that you were in her situation? How did you do? How would you respond to that one? San says, I'd rather not remember this horrific killing. And finally, Jay Joseph says, The huge problem with the Dante Wright case was foreseen. Dante was not taught to stay calm and taught by his parents how to stay alive when confronted by white, out-of-control police officers. So, just my thoughts on the situation. Uh, it seems like Kim Potter was just trying to do her job in a very stressful situation, trying to keep herself and her uh, fellow police officer safe and just complete the mission, so to speak. And uh, she made a mistake in the heat of the moment that she seemed like she instantly regretted. I don't think it was malicious or intentional or racist. And two years in prison as a result does not seem racist to me either, as a lot of people are saying. Uh, it actually seems above and beyond what probably would have been appropriate. Uh, what I had said in my original video about the situation when it first occurred is that maybe females are actually just not cut out to be on the field police officers because females are emotional beings and sometimes, you know, that, that's a strength. But in these kind of situations, it can just lead to making mistakes because we get flustered more easily in the heat of the moment. Uh, so maybe she should just have been demoted to like a desk job or something like that instead of going to prison. That's just my thoughts. I cannot imagine what it would be like to have killed somebody because I've never done that. But uh, I have made some fairly serious mistakes at a job before. And uh, one of them was bad enough that I was sobbing to my boss ready to quit on the spot because I never wanted it to happen again. So I think I can understand to some little degree how a serious thing could happen on the job and you can be remorseful and I don't really know why people are just not wanting to believe that at all or incapable of believing that she could be remorseful. The thing that I was remorseful about was by comparison rather insignificant and if I could feel that bad about that ready to give up my job that I needed, you know, I really think that somebody could feel really bad about, you know, accidentally killing somebody. And those have been my thoughts. Let me know what yours are and I will see you around. Thank you again so much for being here today. Since you liked the video enough to make it all the way to the end, don't forget to click the thumbs up and share with somebody else who would also find it interesting. Leave your comments below so we can all have a conversation. And if you really liked it, 
Check out the link in the description for several different ways that you can support and get some cool stuff for yourself or somebody else. Have a wonderful night, afternoon, morning, evening, whatever time zone you are in, and I will see you next time. Bye.